Hello, I'm hoping to find a neuroscientist who wants to research why the heck I have healed so uncommonly well from a severe TBI with initial Glasgow coma scale of three. Also, my pituitary gland was damaged and I now have hypothyroidism and I acquired severe hydrocephalus and now have a VP shunt implanted at the lowest setting. It's almost my two year anniversary since this occurred. I was cycling in San Diego and was hit from behind by an SUV going over 40 miles per hour. According to Google, 0% survived that. The driver left, it was a hit and run. My skull cracked open, I was unconscious and had many broken bones and the ambulance came to deliver me to Scripps Memorial La Jolla. I had a Glasgow coma scale of three. I have no memory of that day, nor the following four months. I was in a coma for several weeks, and neuroprotectors informed my family that I would not survive. When I awoke from the coma, I had to relearn to walk, talk, dress, and recognize my family. I broke ribs, vertebrae, a femur, and my pelvis is pinned with a huge, thick screw. And ophthalmology, uh, both, both my eye sockets were totally broken and the bridge of my nose, one eyeball was hanging out, the other one was thoroughly indented, um, and the doctor said I'd be blind. A few weeks ago, the assistant to my plastic surgeon at Scripps contacted me for permission to use my data and x-rays in a presentation he wanted to give. It was apparently such a unique case as the previous hypothesis was that uh, having two broken eye sockets and a nose bridge destroyed could not be fixed. Yet, he accomplished that. Unfortunately, I'm not blind, but I do need glasses now. I also possibly, maybe, am on the verge of glaucoma, which needs to be monitored. Uh, apparently, glaucoma can only occur hereditarily or after brain injury, maybe. If its onset was the brain injury, is that progressive and requiring monitoring? Or just the one hit shock gave me possible glaucoma and it's stable? At the end of September 2021, they determined I should be discharged in two weeks. Wait, discharged? But, but I'm still on feeding tubes and locked in a tent on my bed. I was informed I would always need a wheelchair to be on feeding tubes and I need an at-home nurse. They removed the tent and the feeding tubes two days before my actual discharge occurred. So, why have I healed so uncommonly well? Because I've since met like five other survivors of Glasgow Coma Scale of three or four, and they are six or so years past their injury, and they are not functioning well. Okay, so I'm hoping someone will research me to discover why I feel so well so that we can help others. But here are some hypotheses. My first surgery was 12 hours long. I hear that is uncommon. Most humans have organs like kidneys and livers that can't continue to function under such long anesthesia, but mine could. Um, for most people that would have required four separate three hour surgeries. I have been outdoorsy, athletic, mostly vegetarian and organic most of my life. Maybe that's why my organs were so strong. Um, I have a strong history of neuroplasticity. I've moved to 10 different cities solo. I've traveled to about 20 different countries solo. I've had multiple career paths, started a nonprofit, a tech startup, an arts festival. Perhaps this history of being drawn to the unique impacted my brain. My, my left frontal lobe was damaged and the rest of my brain thought it was exciting to step up to the challenge and, and take over that functionality. Maybe. Stairs. I love stairs. Whenever there's a stair option, I choose that instead of escalators or elevators. When I first left the hospital, 
stairs were so scary and challenging. But I kept taking the stairs until that became easy again. And the other option is just maybe I have a purpose in life. I aspire to get into public speaking and um, promote public policy. I hope to impact TBI treatment and hydrocephalus testing. I'm taking small steps in that direction. I'm currently standing in a hotel because I'm headed to DC to speak and lobby at the National Bike Summit, along with the nonprofit Families for Safe Streets. Um, I'm the only survivor that's speaking. Everyone else who's attending has lost a loved one who was cycling and was killed by a vehicle. Okay, then I'm headed to New York City to ride the Five Borough Bike Tour with the Love Your Brain organization. And I recently joined the Board of Directors, directors for the Brain Injury Alliance of Washington. Yay! But what's missing? Someone to research why the heck I've healed so well so we can help others and advocate for appropriate policy and medical teachings. So if you have any idea how I can find this person, I am registered for case studies. I've searched case studies. I saw one that was uh, researching Glasgow Coma Scale of 3, and they were looking for patients still in the hospital. So... If you have any tips, please let me know. Thank you.